we have the heavyweights are up next. I wonder do I actually have a tail of the tape for this one. I'm not sure if I do or not. I don't. Our next fight is brought to you by All Maintenance Services. For facilities management, building and maintenance services and commercial cleaning services, AMS is a one-stop shop. For more info, find us at www.allmaintenanceservices.ie Pimber Hederman, I'm 36 and I work as a production planner with Dupuy. Hi, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go at it anyway. So like, hopefully, I mean like, uh, what I want to do is try and go to three rounds. That's the main thing, like, uh, like not give up anything silly. So like, we're just going to go in, go in hard, uh, have a good fight, make sure we're throwing a few digs, and um, hit someone in the face been in a fight I'd say since I was a child if even then so it's just something to have a lash off. Yeah I suppose look I just want to dedicate it to everyone who supported me and um, yeah big shout out to my mum and dad. Yay. Uh, Wayne is my name I'm uh, 25 years of age and I work as a fundraiser. Uh, Wimp Warrior was fantastic. I loved every bit of it and uh, it was massive support from everybody, all the staff and all the crowd working with us, all the people who were working alongside me doing it. One of the best things I've ever done. I've been working on the Jiu Jitsu and the boxing a lot. You know, I think, yeah, I really don't know. I feel comfortable with it all and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm at home, just all my family are actually putting up with me over the last few months. <laughs> my girlfriend in particular, Eva, she's uh, put up with a lot of me just talking about MMA all the time. And uh, yeah, the whole Wimp Warrior crew. Are ready? Are ready? Oh, we are swinging heavy right off the bat. Yeah, I think you're right. Someone is... Oof. Oh. Oof. Wayne's throwing a lot, but Finbar seems to have landed the cleaners all oh, until now. And again, it's that one punch can change it. Oof. He's been clipped two or three times now, it's Finbar. Yeah, Finbar, Finbar is on the, on the receiving end of a few of these shots. He needs yeah. to clinch up pretty early here now. There's only so, mon so many of those ones yeah. you can take from, from Wayne. A lot of power in those shots. So the corner asking for Wayne to push off. He's yeah. definitely doing the better in the striking exchanges. I don't think Finbar would like to disengage here at this point in time. The only thing is that you'll tire yourself up quick yeah, if this yeah. carry on. Yeah, and there we go. Now, now we Finbar getting the better of it. And we know Finbar is an athlete. That's it. He's an endurance athlete. It takes many hours to swim across the channel. And he has to hold his breath a lot. Yeah. It's a nice Dutch angle there from our cameraman. <laughs> so the cameraman's going to fall into the cage. <laughs> as long as he doesn't drop the camera on the top of his head, we'll be all right. Wayne going for that guillotine. I it's don't not think there, it's no. there. No. But he seems to be just holding now a little bit. He yeah. has power in those hands, though. My God. Finbar seems to be feeling it a little bit now as well, but there's, there's a bit of damage taken as well, I think. I think if this goes to a third round, it massively favours Finbar. Yeah. Because he's wearing on him now a bit as well. Yeah, 100%. And he's actually he was actually quite close to a good guillotine position there himself. Yeah. Oh, a push. Yeah, keep going, keep going. The ten second clapper. 
can sometimes be confused for the final bell. Yeah. And I think we had a case of that right there. I think it would be fair to say that Finbar was the less fatigued towards the end of the round. Yeah, definitely. But all you need is, is just to catch your breath again and you, you can go for another 15, 20 seconds. But again, you're, you're taking a risk of you've longer than in the round where you're going to be under pressure for oxygen. Well, he's not going to conserve it anyway. <laughs> well, we have a battle of the dirty boxing. Oof. Finbar doing well with straight punches. More straight punches in this round. He needs to dig the right hand as an underhook here. It could be close to a guillotine here. He has it under the neck. He looks to have his hands joined on the outside too. A better angle on the other side here. No, he's let it go. So now this is this is where now that initial burst from the first for first 15, 20 seconds of the second round is gone. Now this is all heart. Yeah. Now have they got two minutes of heart and then another three minute round after that. But that's it again, like you would imagine this favours Fimber, given the style of training that he's used to. I know it's very different and this is massively explosive compared to endurance stuff, but oh, oh. big pull. That took a lot of effort there. Yeah. And he pulled with his fingertips. He really needed to join his hands there. If he had joined his hands that would have been so much easier. I believe Daniel Cormier would, have, would be called that, calling that cutting corners. Two big strikes there from Finbar. Both lads heaving here for, for oxygen. Oh, Finbar is definitely getting the better of it the, 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 yeah. the last few minutes though. I can see the back of his head moving from the uppercuts landing in the front of his face. <laughs> Like two praying mantises circling each other here now at the moment. <laughs> oh, 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 twice. I mean, that's close to a double knockout, twice. Yeah. And again, Finbar has more energy coming out of those exchanges. I mean, but with the with the big with the with the weight of the heavyweights, they have big punches, but they've also got big mass to keep their head mm -hmm. st steady. You know, yeah. so they end up taking a lot of. Big shots as well. Yeah. I mean, you hit you hit that, a, a smaller man with those shots, and they're gone. Yeah, he's confused by the ten-second clapper again. I think we're going to get to the third round, the end of the third round here. I think. They Do you think either has enough pop to? Yeah, I don't think the pop is there now to score the knockout. And it's like it's not like either or, either or two of them are going to quit either. But I think even in a situation like that, when you're very tired as well, a few unanswered can be the same as that yeah, big pop. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Three or four unanswered can give you that same effect as the one big punch, especially at heavyweight when they're all relatively heavy. Oh, very well done. Nobody really wants to throw knees here. I don't think I'd want to throw a knee that size either. Takes a lot of effort to lift the leg that size up as well. And if you miss it, you're going to have a big man on top of you. Exactly. If he catches it. It's a big risk. Well, back to us in the, in the <laughs> studio again. We're really scraping the bottom of the energy here. Yeah. A few more exchanges, I think. Finbar coming Finbar on strong. Coming strong. Oh, that was a big right hand by Wayne. I think it just whiffed on it, though. I, I think it just missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We have a few of the Wimpton Warriors that fought a little bit earlier, passing us here in the studio, off out for a few points. <laughs> well earned. Enjoy, lads. A guillotine attempt from Wayne. To be fair, these lads need some ice after this fight. Yep. Some ice and a nice pillow. That's what they need now. Finbar, speaking of lads walking past us and going out for a pint, Finbar is not even going to get changed. Finbar is going straight out the door for a pint <laughs> after this. <laughs> He'll have gloves on and mouth guard in the whole lot. <laughs> I think Finbar has done enough in the second and third round for me to be winning on the scorecards. Yeah. Like, I think he lost the first round. He took a lot of damage early in the he first did. round. Yeah. But I think he's Wayne's got a hell since. of a right hand. Though. Yeah, he's serious power. Oh. The pop has well and truly gone now at this stage. You couldn't blame him either. They yeah, fought yeah. their ass off for the last... The war of attrition, no. For the last nine minutes. Yeah. And even that, like, he's putting a lot of weight on him. It's yeah. so grueling. Big finish from Finbar here. This might be the difference. Derek Hickey again, bravest man, the octagon getting in between getting him as right he's swinging at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be shouting from a distance to start to break. <laughs> Finbar gets the nod. Very tight. Very tight fight. Might even be a rematch down the line for these two lads in, in, on, a, on a Dublin show. AMS are industry leaders in facilities management, building and maintenance services, and commercial cleaning services. Our success is due to establishing a client-centric approach to business. And in a competitive marketplace, what sets us apart is our philosophy. We become a trusted partner to our clients. Get in touch with us today on 021-425-1306 or email at info at allmaintenanceservices.ie or call into our office at Unit 2 Westlink Business Park in Wilton 